What's up, Pisces? Welcome to your love reading from now until June 22nd, 2019. We are going to do things a little bit different than we usually do. We're going to start off with some oracle cards and then we're going to jump into the reading. So Pisces, it looks like there's a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety here. It may be emotionally. It may be emotions, you know, that are driving you crazy or something's driving you really crazy, crazy and anxious and keeping you stressed out due to a logical decision you've got to make. This is all about stepping up and standing your ground and fighting for what it, whatever it is you want here. Whatever is giving you anxiety, whatever is giving you worry, whatever is making you feel like you need to change something here instead of... This could be you or your partner. It could go either way. So s someone needs to, you know, instead of dwelling on it and worrying about it, whatever's happened, you see the storm clouds out the window, now is time to take a logical approach to it and actually do something about this worry, this anxiety, this restlessness, whatever it may be. Um, we're going to check it out and see what it may be for Pisces. So this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you guys don't know how to find that, it will be in the description box below for you guys. Um, I'm also the type of reader that will pick some stuff up once I soak up all the reading after it's done. So there may be some extra messages in the description box for you guys, alright? So let's see. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords reverse flying out here. Um, this worry and this anxiety for some of you could be that someone needs to speak up and say something, or this worry and anxiety could be that nobody, somebody's lying, okay? Somebody could be worrying about somebody lying here and really upset and really regretful, or somebody's really upset and really regretful that they lied, okay? Yeah, we've got the Ten of Wands, so it looks like somebody may be holding back something here that they need to communicate, but let's try this again because that one kind of flew out. What is this anxiety over for Pisces? Exactly. Standing your ground, fighting. Okay? you Whoever this is for, you know, whatever is giving you anxiety, needing to make a logical decision, head over heart decision, you know, take your emotions out of the equation or whoever's emotions out of the equation and make the decision to stick up for yourself, to stand up for yourself here. Um, it could be about taking someone back here. Yeah. It, this could be a business partnership, friendship, um, but whether or not to take this person back, okay? or go back to a job, however it resonates for you guys. But it's telling y'all to stand up for yourself, no more worry, no more anxiety, time to, time to act from the logical standpoint here, okay? Interesting, we've got the woman holding the heart underneath, which is definitely Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It could have something to do with a broken contract as well, guys, or some legal type of situation. Something may, might have been broken, okay? That might not be for everyone. All right, so let's get into the reading. So this is going to be a little bit different, but let's do this. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Also Cross Watchers. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I keep shuffling until I get the chills, guys. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now until June 22nd in love. Ooh, we got the Nine of, Nine of Cups. Wishes and dreams coming true. Ooh, okay. Let's talk about this. Wishes and dreams coming true about reuniting with someone, guys. That's a message for someone here. Um, someone may not be ready to express their emotions, though, or they may not be emotionally available, especially if it's another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. All right, be careful. Let's see what comes out. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. Girl, 
from now until June 22nd. One more. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love from now until June 22nd. Alright guys, let's see what's up. Keep in mind these are general. The only way to tell if this reading resonates with you is, you know, after June 22nd. Alright? And the only way to get a reading to 100% resonate with you and your energy is to get a personal reading. I do not yet offer those, but sometimes you guys email me when I'm you know, sitting down here kind of messing around and you catch me at a good time. So, wow. All right. Overall energy. We have the page of swords reverse guys. What is going on? Is this a stalker? This is like somebody watching, but this could be like somebody who is stalking here or you've got somebody sending you messages that are a bunch of bullshit. That are not true. So definitely somebody could be lying here. Or somebody's doing some stalking and some spying. Seriously. Holy crap that scares me. Um, we're going to clarify the bottom card for y'all. Let's see what's. See someone. We've got the queen of cups again. Okay. Coming out of, cutting, coming out of anxiety about this. Okay. It definitely could be another water sign, sun, moon, or rising that you're dealing with. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I almost feel like I get for some of you, the overall energy may be someone that needs more information or someone that needed more information or somebody that backed out of something without having enough information. Okay? So we'll definitely clarify the bottom, but that, that's some crazy energy on the bottom. Okay, so Pisces, their story and what they're telling you, okay, what they'll be telling you from now until June 22nd, or what they're telling you now. We have the Knight of Swords, okay, so this could be you guys, whoever, it can go vice versa, but what they're telling you, they could be coming in quick and fast, their communication could be very sharp. Um, their communication may not be coming from a very emotional place. Um, somebody could be coming at you and delivering news here, but there's communication coming your way here and it's truthful. Okay. Keep in mind, this could be your story and what you're telling them. However, it goes for you guys. There's communication happening that is quick, fast, maybe even a little bit abrasive, but it is truthful. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy does not have to be. I just like naming it for you guys. So what they really think, Pisces, what's really on their mind is the Seven of Pentacles. So they feel like they've put a lot of time and effort and energy into something or someone. It very well could be you. Um, and they could be waiting. They could be examining things and waiting here. We'll definitely clarify everything and figure out what's going on all right so how they feel really deep down inside like subconsciously all right we have the four of pentacles so they're holding on they're holding on to something um they may be clinging on to you all right if this is somebody definitely spying and stalking they could be holding on to you clinging on to you not wanting to let go um this could also be someone again hiding something Hiding their feelings, hiding money. They could be even almost to the point where they're kind of obsessive deep down inside over something. Okay, it very well could be money. But holding on, clinging on to you, clinging on to someone else, um, holding back feelings, not wanting to let go. Or this could be someone who's literally hiding some money or hiding some truth. Okay, we'll clarify. Oof. All right, so how they're acting, Pisces. This could be how they're acting on social media, how they're acting towards you if you guys are communicating. Um, this could be how they're acting towards friends, family members, absolutely anybody, okay? If it's not how you're acting towards them, it could go either way. Wow. 
Okay, they're either practicing some self-love here, loving themselves, um, or they're getting some love here, love offer. Or they want to express their love to you. Wow. Um, this could also be someone for how they're acting that may be pregnant. Okay, so if it's flip-flopped or however it goes, however somebody's acting, somebody could be pregnant. Or somebody could just be overjoyed and filled with love, offering you love. Alright, so let's see. Any outside influences. So anybody outside the relationship, if this isn't, you know, your story, what you're telling them, what you're thinking, how you feel deep down inside, how you're acting, you could definitely show up in the outside influences. So this could be absolutely anybody that is around the relationship or related to the relationship in the energetic field of this relationship, okay? We have the Six of Wands. So whoever is external, somebody is getting some type of attention or victory, okay? Some type of external, outside influence to this relationship. Um, who they're getting attention from is what we'll figure out, okay? So how they will be acting from now until June 22nd. We have the Two of Pentacles reversed. So they're going to be making a decision here. They're going to be dropping the ball and making a decision. Could this be, be between two different people? Yes. Or just making a decision in general. Let's check out the next card. We have the Devil reversed. Okay, so... It's almost like somebody's going to be trying to get rid of their toxic habits here. This could be even letting go of a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or this is somebody trying to let go of their negative habits, their obsessive behaviors, um, whether it's, you know, gambling, addictions, um, alcohol abuse, anything that's negative. Somebody's deciding to get out of this negative, toxic situation or relationship here. So let's see. Or an, an environment in general. Whatever toxic environment in general here. Alright, so we're going to keep the Page of Swords reversed out. And then we've got the Queen of Cups on the bottom. Interesting. Alright, so let's do this. We are going to clarify with the After Tarot. If you guys have seen the longer videos, these are the cards that I use to make predictions three to six months ahead. So hopefully this will give you guys a lot more information and insight into the future. So Pisces, to clarify the spread spirit from now until June 22nd. Alright, let's do this and make sure you guys can see good. Alright, so the Knight of Swords how they're acting right now or this could be how you're acting towards them someone's communicating it could be quick sharp fast but it's truthful communication here gemini libra aquarius energy does not have to be let's see why is the knight of swords here for their or excuse me their story and what they're telling you why is the knight of swords here Ooh. Someone popping off at the mouth and then blocking communication here? Or is somebody going to tell someone that they're not in love with someone? Or has someone, you know, kind of snapped, told the truth, and then blocked communication with someone here? Or blocked some type of travel for someone? Yeah, I see some manipulation and some mind games going on. Interesting. Let's see. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands reversed with the Knight of Swords for their story and what they're telling Pisces. They could be telling you to block communication with someone. Someone could be telling you to block communication with someone, but there's a love offer here. There's a gesture of emotion here. There's a love offer here that you may want to make. Or that may someone someone may want to make to you. Um, this could also be an apology. It's like someone's not not moving forward. Tell me more about this page of cups. Why is 
Yeah, see, we have the Knight of Swords reverse. That's crazy. So what I'm getting here is somebody is not, somebody is not communicating and saying how they really feel. Someone it would rather watch. Okay, somebody's definitely watching someone, keeping an eye on someone. Um, and someone wants to offer love here and or offer an apology, but they're just not moving forward. They're not speaking up, they're not saying anything, or they're not telling the truth. There very well could be blocked communication with whoever this person is. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, someone definitely could be letting go of someone here. Wow, and there's that. There it is again, guys. So somebody's definitely watching. Be very careful. Or someone was. Or someone will be. Alright, let's see. Very interesting. Alright, let's go to what they really think. So what they're really thinking, if this isn't how you're really thinking, Pisces, is they're waiting. They feel like they've put a lot of time and effort and energy into you or the relationship, whatever relationship, they're waiting. So let's see. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for what they're thinking about Pisces? It could be waiting for you to make a decision. Yeah. They're waiting here, examining things, making a decision not to apologize is what they're thinking. They're thinking about someone not making a decision to apologize, or that's what they will be thinking. Maybe someone's waiting for an apology and it's just not happening here. There's some type of blocking communication or trouble communicating. Very interesting. Someone could be very reckless as well and very nasty and harsh with their words. That's not going to be for everyone, but yeah, somebody could be lying. For some of you, not all, somebody could be lying about, about a love offer that they got here. And someone may want someone to block communication with this person. Wow. If not, someone really wants to communicate that is blocked. And someone wants to offer an apology, but it's just not, not happening. And it's almost like whatever this person is thinking, like, they're waiting, okay, waiting to make a decision to turn down an apology or to turn down a love offer here. Or they're realizing that love offer is not coming in for what they're thinking. Keep in mind, it could be totally vice versa. So how they feel really deep down inside, they could be closed off. They could be clinging to you. They could be clinging to someone, whoever they're clinging to. All right, they're holding on to something or they're stashing some cash. Um, they could be really holding tight to their feelings. They could even be, like, kind of obsessive with something here. So let's see. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for how they feel really deep down inside for whoever Pisces is dealing with? Yeah. See, they like stability and control, but things are not stable within their family. <clears throat> This person could be holding on to a father figure or this person could be holding on to the need to control everything, but it's just this person's not stable or they're not in a stable environment or a living situation here or marriage, but they're still holding on to it. Aries energy there. And it looks like they're not taking action to let go not taking any action and deep down inside they may not want to commit or they may have you know player like tendencies so be very careful okay look at that ace of cups coming out again some of you guys have love coming in for sure this is definite pregnancies for some damn but somebody see someone's not willing to take the risk here 
Someone's not willing to take the risk if it's a relationship. Let's see. Oh my god, deep down inside, someone... <sighs> deep down inside, someone could also be hiding the fact that they are a father. Okay, that's not going to resonate with everyone, but I have to bring it up when I see it. And it may cause instability within their home. Alright. Amazing, Ace of Cups. Tell me about this Ace of Cups that just flew out for Pisces. Okay, so whatever this love is, whatever this love offer is, it's sneaky, okay? Somebody's either lying, cheating, somebody's showing someone love, but they're lying, they're sneaking around, they're cheating, they're stealing, okay? Or this is someone completely ghosting someone who's offering them love, completely sneaking away. And somebody is definitely not listening to their intuition here. Pisces, your card. Unless you already know this. Wow, that sucks to see that Seven of Swords there. What the hell? Alright, so how they're acting. Ace of Cups. But they may be sneaking around here. Lying, cheating, being deceptive. Stealing. Let's see. Tell me about the Ace of Cups for how they're acting towards Pisces or whoever is around them. Tell me about the Ace of Cups for how they're acting. Yeah, look. They want to get out of a situation. They don't want to sacrifice anything here. Whew. Everything's going to come out in the open here regarding something or someone from the past. Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and water. See, someone may have tried to offer love and, and taken off and ghosted someone here. Or somebody just doesn't want to stick around. Damn, guys. All right, so outside influences. Somebody's getting attention. Somebody's getting a victory. So let's see who this is. Who's getting this attention and this victory external to Pisces and whoever they're dealing with? Who's getting this? Okay. Okay, very well could be a Libra here, and we've got fire energy as well, but somebody's making a fair, honest decision for everyone involved, and somebody is winning. Somebody's making a decision externally, and they're going to win. If this is legal cases, there's a victory for this person, whoever this external influence is. This could be you guys if this is not your story. You see what I'm saying? Um... Someone's making a decision that's going to bring them attention or, or victory here. Yep, someone's made a decision. Let's check this out. What is this decision externally to Pisces? Look at that. The hanged man again. See, someone may be taking someone to court and getting a victory and trying to get out of a situation, a relationship, or a job, whatever it may be, trying to get out of it. Um, but it's still, you know, it showed up that way. Ooh, someone may end up in jail, guys, externally. If not, this is just somebody who's very trapped in their head externally about some type of decision that will bring them victory. If this isn't you guys, this is somebody external within the relationship. Leo, Libra energy. Let's see. Let's go in with the gypsy cards. Let's see. What is this decision about for Pisces? Externally. The 
Justice card. What is this decision about? And victory externally to Pisces from now until June 22nd in love. Someone could also be, you know, offering love to someone while trying to get out of a relationship. Let's see. What is this decision? Yeah, consolation. Tell me more. Tell me more about this consolation. Tell me more. What is this decision about? Okay, this is, uh, yeah, this may be about a misfortune, okay? Definitely could be legal cases, consulting someone here, or somebody's trying to avoid some type of misfortune, okay? Considering it flew out reversed. Someone may be trying to avoid some type of disaster by making a fair balanced decision for everyone involved, um, and they may feel a little bit sad about it, for sure. Could be female energy for some. Let's see for how they're acting. What is this person trying to get out of for how they're acting? So they could be acting like they want to offer love and they're getting out of a situation. Let's see, why is the hanged man here? What are they getting out of for how they're acting for Pisces? Ooh. This looks like somebody just ghosted someone to me. Like, no communication. The letter is reversed. And there is a fee there's a foe. So there's a female enemy here. So someone could be ghosting someone, could be another woman, and just not saying anything, getting out. Wow, very interesting, Pisces. We also had thief on the bottom, so be very careful um, about this person externally. Tell me about this decision externally for Pisces. Yeah, there's that Ten of Pentacles reverse. Uh, be careful of like a father figure or the father of somebody's children hiding money, um, causing instability. Incredible. This could be a Sagittarius in the family. Or somebody's just not getting along with their family members right now. And they want to heal from it, this person externally. Libra and Sagittarius energy, also Aries as well. Yeah, they're hard at work trying to manifest something, but the wheel is not going in their favor. Mm -mm. Money-wise here, this person externally. But they are getting a victory. They're going to be patient, and they're going to be waiting. You guys will know. All right, so how they will be acting from now until June 22nd. They're going to be making a decision, if this isn't you guys. Two of Pentacles reversed. So what is this decision this person will be making for Pisces? <laughs> Incredible. Too many cards, guys. But I see someone walking away, someone holding on to someone. Look at that. Someone's finally going to decide to make the decision to speak up, even though it may hurt someone. It may cause someone to walk away from someone here. But, too many cards flow. Let's see, what is this decision about for Pisces or whoever they're dealing with? Yep, look at that. Secrets are going to come out. Someone is going to express how they feel. Someone's going to make the decision to express things here and avoid a disaster so somebody's gonna come come clean to avoid a disaster here holy crap someone may have gotten divorced or doesn't want a commitment check this out 
What are these secrets that are going to be coming out from now until June 22nd for Pisces? All right. The secrets that may be coming out could be about a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn female. It very well could be a male. Um, this could be about somebody's instability, um, somebody who's greedy, somebody who's not a true friend. Whew. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer. Yeah, I see some mind games here, some pettiness, some fighting, some defeat. Possibly with a person from the past or someone from the past, okay? This could be someone returning to you, Pisces, or you wanting to return to them and someone's just not willing to take that risk or give this person a second chance. So we've got Aries, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Be careful, there may be a female enemy here. This is crazy because Libra just got this. Wow. Wow. All right, so we have the double reversed. So someone's going to be getting themselves out of a toxic situation, like I said. Let's see. Tell me more about the double reverse for Pisces from now until June 22nd. Okay. Someone's not going to want to fight anymore. Someone's going to want to make a compromise. To get out of whatever this toxicity is. This could be a Capricorn that wants to make a compromise with you, not want to fight anymore with you. Um, or this is someone who just doesn't want to fight anymore. They want to get out of this toxic situation. They don't want it anymore. It's like someone coming to terms with something here, but it's like someone's like, no, I don't want to do it. Be careful again because we have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so this could be un someone unstable, greedy only cares about money. This could be an unfaithful friend. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, and Scorpio. And I see instability. Okay. Or somebody within the family here. That is definitely being manipulative. For some of y'all, there, there could be a pregnancy that somebody's not telling the truth about as well. So let's see. Let's check out this page of swords. All right. Tell me about this page of swords for Pisces, the overall energy. We have the page of swords again, guys. So be very careful if this, this could be you guys watching someone trying to gather more information, um, or this is just somebody stalking and spying, trying to gather, you know, gather information on someone because somebody is playing around. Okay, and this definitely could be someone that's sneaking around behind someone's back being deceptive, cheating, and somebody's pregnant here. So be very careful. Um, be very careful about theft as well because I did see the thief card. Um, it could be someone in the family here. There could be court. Court cases or somebody's going to make a fair, balanced decision for everyone involved here. This could be you guys making that decision to avoid some type of misfortune. Yeah, look at that. Letting go or somebody losing money here. Let's see. What is the best advice for Pisces? Okay. Best advice for Pisces. There it is. It brings it back to the beginning of the reading. Stand your ground and fight. Stand up for yourself. No more worry, no more anxiety. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do about somebody that wants to return or a financial situation that you wanna make better. All right, so let's see. Best advice for Pisces and love from now until June 22nd. Best advice for Pisces and love. From now until June 22nd. There we go. Best advice for Pisces in love. From now until June 22nd. 2019. There we go. Wow. Okay, so the first one we had come out is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Ooh. And then we had engagement fly out. Your love life is ascending to a higher 
level of commitment. We also have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This is very interesting. On the bottom, we have separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. This card to me is usually moving on. Someone moving on or moving away or going on vacation. It doesn't necessarily mean like a honeymoon. We're going to check out this engagement. Well, we've got separation. Okay. And then we also have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay. So let's see. Who is this engagement with for Pisces from now until June 22nd? Who is this engagement with for Pisces? Oh, someone wants to uh, propose or offer love here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, but someone isn't listening to their intuition about someone trying to get out of something toxic here. Pisces, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups for Pisces and this engagement. It's too much. Yeah, maybe someone that wants to come back. Or you may want to, yeah, look, someone is definitely going to get married, okay? Someone is definitely going to get married or somebody is going to be living with someone or somebody already is, guys. Somebody could already very well be engaged, yeah. We have the Knight of Wands reverse on the bottom. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. This could definitely be a one night stand type energy here. Somebody who's in and out, makes promises, they don't follow through with them. Um, someone's just unable to move on from someone here mentally or unable to make a physical move. Yeah, someone's not moving forward. They'd rather play games with someone or something from their past here. Be very careful with this Knight of Swords. I don't like it because it's sometimes one night stand type energy. Um, this could also be someone, you know, offering, offering love, offering an engagement, wanting a wedding, wanting to propose, wanting someone to move in with, with the other person. But see, someone may be stuck on someone from the past here and not able to fully move on. You see what I'm saying? All right, so let's do questions for Pisces. Questions for Pisces. Whichever one you guys are drawn to. Questions for Pisces from now until June 22nd in love. Questions to Pisces who are drawn to this video spirit. The answers to those questions. Questions for Pisces. Thank you. All right. We have not the right time. We have it's up to you. Listen to your intuition. We have yes. We have romance on the bottom and success. But we also have let go, recovery, okay? Oof, let's see what this, ro let's check out this romance, I gotta do it. Who is this romance with for Pisces from now until June 22nd? Ooh. Okay, somebody's gonna be making an unfair decision here. It could be money-wise. Someone could have done something that was unjust and unfair, and now somebody's making a decision to pay someone back here or make it an equal give and take situation for romance. Aries and Libra energy. It's definitely got something to do with work or work not going in someone's favor or a commitment not going in someone's favor here. So Aquarius, Aries, Libra. Also, a little bit of Earth. 
Again, tell me two of pentacles. See, someone's playing those games, but secrets are going to come out. It's right here. You guys will know the truth. All right, surrender. What does Pisces or their partner or whoever they're interested in need to surrender to in love spirit from now until June 22nd? What does Pisces or their partner need to surrender to in love from now until June 22nd? What does Pisces or their partner need to surrender to in love? From now until June 22nd. One more. There we go. Alright guys. So we have. Surrender comparisons with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths. Attractiveness. And power. We've got surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step in. To your full power. Rather than playing it small. We've got surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. We have surrender to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. And then we had surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your, li in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. On the bottom, we have surrender your ego. Cultivate gratitude be of service to others, and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. Last, ooh, we've got surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your own power and soar in your life. We also have surrender denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. We also have surrender to trust. Surrender to silence. Surrender your addictions. You guys will know what's up. And that's what I've got for you guys. Definitely like, share, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see y'all later. Take care, Pisces. Have a good one.